Greetings, royal family. I'm back with another video. Hopefully, you guys had a fantastic weekend and a safe Memorial Day. Let's get into it. All right, you read the title? Here we go. So, most of you have hopefully already seen this video that's circulating around um, on the internet. A Houston-based MUA makeup artist decided to take on a client to do her makeup for prom. And let's just say if I had to rate my experience just watching the video, I would give it zero stars. Disgusting. So there are people defending this makeup artist and of course there are people defending the young girl who uh, had services performed on her. Services if that's what you want to call it. All right. So I'm going to try to give you the short version for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. Houston-based makeup artist uh, decided to go on live before she started taking her clients. She was doing her own makeup. Her workstation was disgusting. Um, she was gross in appearance. She was engaging on her live, her Instagram live, instead of getting her tools ready, sanitizing herself and her workstation. Um, client asked on live, the client was watching the live, client says, hey, can I come a little early? To which the MUA felt disgusted for whatever reason. Um, she kept saying in the live that her 2.30 appointment did not show up or her two o'clock appointment didn't show up. So I don't know. So if this girl wanted to come a little bit early, your next appointment wanted to come early, then what's the problem? Anyway, she proceeded to say on live directly to her client who was messaging her on live or commenting on live. Ugh. You know, my, my clients need to get it together. And this is, this is a kid. I just, I don't like taking prom clients. My, my clients just get on my nerves. Listen, if you're going to come, you need to DM me and let me know what you're doing. This is her speaking to her live. The client is seeing this. Um, even if she DMs you, sis, you're on live and you stated that you were going to continue to stay on your live and finish your makeup. So if she DMs you, you're not checking your DMs and uh, responding. She probably tried to call you, but you were too busy with your dirty palettes and dirty utensils doing your makeup for the kids on Instagram Live. Anyway, and like I just gotta point that out. Her palettes were disgusting. Her sister, who is her assistant, this MUA, uh, was trying to put a chair together, trying to clean up the space, but it was gross, 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 gross. All right, client comes. She, uh, I guess must have asked the, the client must have asked, you know, what's your, um, uh, PayPal or, or whatever it is, cash app or something like that. And she kept saying it, she didn't greet the client. You know, she took the phone from her, put it in, put in her information, gave the client back her phone. She said, Oh, I need to see a picture of your dress. Client says, I don't have a picture of my dress to which she looks at her in utter disgust. Um, just bad off to a bad start. So client sits down and again, you, oh God, the sanitary issues. You don't see the MUA washing her hands. She pours on hand sanitizer and proceeds to do this young girl's makeup. I did notice that she used the same brush and the same beauty blender on the client that she had just minutes ago used on herself on her live. Gross, gross, gross. She was prancing around in her work area with no shoes on. She had on these like sweat shorts that were like up her hoo-ha. She had on a t-shirt that had stains all over it. It was dirty, unkept. She herself had her hair out, didn't have it pulled back, and she didn't wash her hands. Ugh. Anyway, she starts to do the client's makeup. Everybody in the live is noticing that the client looks a little bit uncomfortable. The MUA is going back to the, uh, the comments on Instagram and then going back to the client, engaging with her, her followers on Instagram, not talking about what techniques she's using on the client, what products, what she's doing, so on and so forth. One of the, um, followers in the live said, why does baby girl have an attitude to which the MUA thought it was cute to get on in the phone and the camera and say, I don't know. I don't know. Cause people are, tri you know, people are tripping, laughing in the client's face. Remember the MUA sister is still there looking at her sister laughing in the client's face. Okay. That's really professional. Client eventually asks, what's so funny? MUA responds, you're funny. I mean, like you just, I'm telling you to smile and you're not smiling and 
she just keeps going back and forth and la uh, going back and forth to the live and laughing at the people who are making comments about the body language of the client. A professional makeup artist comes on to the live, makes a comment stating, hey, you should actually ask your client if she's okay because she looks really uncomfortable. MUA looks in the phone and says, nah, I'm good and then goes back to her client. So the whole time you're supposed to be doing your client, you're, you're here and then you're here and then just real ignorant to say the least. Okay. So again, the client, obviously she felt intimidated. I could, I sense that I could be totally wrong. She felt intimidated. Remember it's the MUA and her sister. The client came by herself. She felt uncomfortable, obviously. And she probably, probably felt so uncomfortable and intimidated that she just sat there, dealt with it. She already paid the girl and she figured, let me just, it's prom day. Let me just hurry up, get my makeup done and get the heck out of here. So you could tell, you know, the client was rolling her eyes. The client was moving her head and you know, the MUA just kept laughing. Like, you know, when you, you know, that uncomfortable laugh, like you're trying to, to act like something is funny when you're really pissed off, like that type of laugh, like <laughs> they got me messed up. They got me so messed up. Like that, that was her attitude toward her, toward her client. And the client was rolling her eyes. MUA says, do you want to be here? Do you want to be here? Clients rolls her eyes and says, can you just finish? No, I'm just saying client gets up, walks out. Bravo. I would have done the same thing. First of all, First and foremost, I wasn't even a client and I was so disgusted by the MUA's appearance, physical appearance, how loud she was, obnoxious. She, her workstation was filthy. It was dirty. Your, your utent, you didn't wash your hands. You know, you're putting primer on this client's eyes and you used a brush and then you used your finger and smeared it. You were picking your nose. No wonder why she had an attitude and she had an attitude prior to coming in because you stated that your clients get on your nerves that, you know, let me <sighs> baby girl, you were all wrong. And I'm speaking to the entrepreneur, the MUA after the client leaves, this MUA goes on a rant. She calls the girl all types of whatever, whatever's and says that she will be, if the old, if it was the old her, she would have beat her down and she's lucky because I'm from Chicago and I don't play that like what? And then ignorantly states on live that she is going to charge the customer's card again for a, like a no call, no show. Are you stupid? You, we have video evidence that the girl sat in your chair and had to endure that your foolishness. Why would you go ahead and charge her card again? As if she like, as if she didn't show up, you really are something's wrong with you mentally. And of course, like I said, there were people egging this, this MUA on saying, oh yeah, she had a bad attitude. This took me over the top. The MUA proceeds to say in all her ranting, you know, I work off of energy. I work off of energy. First of all, people that say that and they don't know what they're talking about because they want to sound cute, I guess really annoy me. What type of energy? You probably were working off energy, negative energy. Your workspace was disgusting. You, your physical appearance was anything but professional. You were unprofessional from the gate. So yeah, you probably do work off of energy, unprofessional energy. And it sucks because you're a freelancer or a small business owner. And a lot of small business owners gripe about not getting support because they don't really have like a big name and people would rather pay bigger companies for services. And this is another reason that kind of turns people off from supporting black businesses and, and, and small businesses in general, independent contractors, freelancers, you know, and people have to make a living for themselves. Yes. And yes, freelancers and entrepreneurs choose to take this route as a means of income. Right. But how stupid are you lady MUA lady girl for you to disrespect your money that walks in and out of your door or your office space or whatever that dungeon of mess was your income is dependent on your clientele. 
right? Like, what don't you understand about that? And for you to feel like it was okay for you to go off on a minor, that minor didn't disrespect you. She didn't call you out of your name. She didn't mock you. She came early with your approval. She asked you. And then for her to, you embarrassed her. My clients get on my nerve, nerves. You didn't even ask her if it was okay to continue to record. Of course she would have an attitude. She's embarrassed. All of the people that are following you and watching your live, you're clowning her. And, and she's supposed to sit in the chair and kiss your behind and be jolly G. She's paying for a service that you obviously were not capable of providing. Annoying. I do encourage everyone to continue to support black businesses uh, any small business whatsoever, continue to support because just because this makeup artist displayed her ignorance and she had people cheering her on, it doesn't speak for the rest of the hardworking freelancers, entrepreneurs, uh, you know, small business owners, black business owners. She's not a representative of any of the aforementioned, you know, business categories. She's in a class by herself a classless class, an ignorant class. If you saw the video, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree? Whose side are you on? Not even whose side are you on? Was the client justified with having an attitude? What did you think about how the MUA, the professional, handled herself? Update though, the prom uh, goer's cousin is also a makeup artist and she posted an update on Twitter stating that her cousin went to the prom and had a great time. She looked fabulous. The cousin stated that she had to basically wipe everything all off and, and start from scratch. I did see pictures. Pictures are on Twitter and she looked fabulous. She looked great. Um, her hair looked great. Her makeup looked great and her dress looked nice. Her prom date looked nice. So, you know, this cousin, uh, of the client went on a rampage and just was showing old pictures of this particular MUA, how she messed up people's faces and things like that. So let me know what you think. Um, Royal family, like as far as patronizing small businesses, what are some of your positive experiences? What are some of your not so positive experiences? Are you a supporter of small businesses? Are you a supporter of black businesses? Having worked in customer service for pretty much forever. Uh, yes, the customer is not always right, but professionalism and quality is your, your top priority. So thumbs down to this makeup artist. Like I said, I wasn't even in the chair and I, I just wanted to give her zero stars. Royal family, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, check out my other content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all of my videos. I told you the month of May I'm going hard until next time. Peace.